guys. Hi, welcome to Chit Chat Paddywhack. My name's Anita. I'm feeling extremely grateful today. My heart is light. My heart is full. I feel, I just feel good. And a lot of that has to do with my paddywhackers. Our paddywhackers, you're not mine. We're a group of people that I have grown to love so much. You guys mean so incredibly much to me. I cannot even tell you. If you're new to the Paddywhack Party, welcome. Um, this is like the best place you could possibly end up if you're if you're traveling through YouTube because my friends and I, we rock. The kindest hearts. The kindest hearts. And just, I don't know, at a time when I think some of us are feeling like the world has gone nuts, when I read my comments and I talk to my patty whackers, I know that it hasn't completely gone off the rails yet. If you are new, I hope you stick around. We have one requirement. That's water. You have to have your water. As you can tell, I'm feeling pretty darn good today. I think most of you know why. A couple different reasons. I'm gonna make a new recipe. It's just a bubble up skinny. It's a turkey dinner bubble up. And I imagine it's gonna be just like what it would be if we were to take all the leftovers from Thanksgiving dinner and make a casserole out of it. I have all the ingredients. I have energy. And I'm gonna make it today. This video, though, is gonna be far from perfect because Normally I try to make things, you know, but today I'm not going to be so, you know, I'm just going to take it easy and be casual. It might even go long. And if it does, and this is the beginning, well, I hope you hang in here. Let me grab what I need to start with and let's go. While I'm doing that, get your water or get your coffee. I'm still uh, sipping on some coffee. I have a feeling I will be throughout the day. It's just a good day. And I hope you're feeling good too. And if you're not, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <sighs> I wish there was just a way I could reach through and, and give a hug to anybody who needs it. The way you guys have done for me. And I'm so, so grateful. So, all right, let me grab some stuff and quit yammering, 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 and I'll be right back. First thing we need to do is make our stuffing. We need to bake four pieces of bread. I'm using my 45 calorie Sara Lee. They also have other great locale breads out there. If anybody needs any recommendations, I'd be happy to give you. We're going to preheat the oven to 375. Figure out how to do this so you guys can see what I'm doing. All right, there we go. So we're going to take this. Let's preheat the oven to 375. We're gonna bake it on one side for 10 minutes and then we're gonna turn it over for six. So this is what I have on deck ready to go. I have my light butter, parsley, sage, garlic, onion, celery, and chicken broth. Okie doke, while we're waiting for our breadcrumbs in our pan, our pretty new Rachel Ray pan, <laughs> We're gonna start off by melting our butter over a medium heat. I bought just, um, I can't believe it's not butter because I normally have, I have the spray, which obviously wouldn't work in this case. So let's start there. Now we are gonna add our garlic, our celery, and our onions. Again, anybody who's new to the Paddywhack party, welcome. And there is such a thing as frozen chopped onions, which is what I like to use. And we're gonna stir this for five minutes. Hey, I have a question for you guys. And I know I can Google it, but I've got a little time to kill. Coffee, light roast versus dark, bold roast. Is there a difference in the caffeine? Um, I asked, I was talking to a lady at Costco the other day, and she said that the that the light roast actually has more caffeine than the dark roast. I found that kind of interesting. 
Okay, now we're going to add our chicken broth. Our parsley and our sage, our salt and pepper, a little salt, a little pepper, and stir, and then we're going to bring it to a boil. Smells good. I'm telling you guys. Steve Johnson is new happy camper since I've decided to start trying these things. I have a good feeling about this recipe. It just sounds warm and comfy and we'll come back to that when it boils. I'm making some coffee. As soon as it comes to a boil, we want to put our bread in there. Mix it up. Get it all nice and coated. I wish I could play some kind of just light holiday music just to stay in the mood okay and then after you do that you want to turn it off cover it and pull it off the stove I'm gonna just set it over here as we do not need our burners anymore okay now in a minute I'm gonna go back over there and I'm gonna fluff up that yummy smelling stuffing Here's to you. Now let's get our biscuits and cut those up. Okay, because the topping on top of this is going to be heavy, on most of her recipes, you do not have to pre-bake the biscuits. But on this one, we do. So we're going to plop these bad boys in here. I can't wait to feed this. Casey's coming over for dinner tonight too. And uh, so I'm going to have a group of happy campers. And you know, I just might go out for a nice walk while they are eating. That is my favorite thing to do. That way I don't have to hear Oliver argue with them over his vegetable intake. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put this in the oven and we're going to cook it for seven to eight minutes. For this recipe, we buy a pre-cooked turkey breast at Costco that's in the refrigerated section, cooked, ready to go, delicious. And since I married the greatest guy in the world, he pre-cut it up into bite-sized pieces for me last night. Okay, now we are going to dump in our chicken, our stuffing, Our hash browns, you know what you guys, I forgot to go over my ingredients at the beginning of this and I apologize. Carrots, turkey gravy, we're going to mix this up. Yay, I'm so happy, look at me go. <laughs> jaw would probably be on the floor. I'm, I'm so glad whenever I cook something, I always send her a link to watch it. And she always calls me and says, Nita, it's like I'm, I'm 12 and you know, it's my first day out. Mmm, Nita, you did such a good job. It looks so delicious. <laughs> it's just so gosh darn easy. But I have avoided it with a vengeance my whole entire life. All right, we're almost done. Hang on. All right, now we are going to spoon this mixture over our biscuits, divide it evenly. This is where, if you're OCD like moi, mm, let's just use this one. I already used it. You can't take it too seriously. You just kind of do the best that you can. Now, I think I would have used a little more gravy. I had some. I could have put it in here, but... It's all good in the neighborhood. All right, and let's just, I just need like a crew of somebody to come over here and do these dishes for me. You know what, maybe I will pour the remainder of that gravy over the top. I can't see that it would hurt, except for that I already threw it out. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna cover it with foil 
and we're going to bake it for 35 minutes. Now remember, this just came out of the oven, so it's going to be hot. Do not touch it with your bare hands. And we're going to cook it. My oven is still on for 35 minutes. all done smells delicious it's got a nice little thanksgiving -y smell in the house let's turn everything off how would you like to see it would you like to see it oh my goodness gracious oh i'm so excited you guys now when you do this buy some extra gravy to put over the top I'm going to have to go out and get some more to put it over for my boys. I'm not going to have any. Oh, guys. Let's take a look. And there she blows, my friends. Doesn't that look good? And you know what? It smells even better than it looks. Look at that. Look at that, peoples. It says to divide, divide into six. Freestyle is five smart points per serving. I think that is like better than doable. I am going to have some for lunch because I want to let you guys know how it tastes before the family has it tonight. We'll let it cool down and then I'll be back. So much fun. So I was thinking um, I'm pretty darn grateful today. I'm pretty darn grateful and I'm feeling pretty darn good. And we're not going to wait for 2,000 people to give away the Spurtles. This is early. Thanksgiving isn't until next week or the week after that. But this is a Thanksgiving meal. And I'm thankful. And we're going to do the Spurtles now. Okay. This meal. Is so good. Get a side of gravy. If you made it this far and you'd like to win the Spurtles, give me an emoji, any food emoji, closest to a casserole or a Thanksgiving meal. Okay? I don't want people to be able to just cheat and look at the comments and go, oh, well, if I do that, maybe I'll win. That's not fair. So I'm like, Mm. You guys, this is so good. Mm. I kind of ate it before I could show it all to you because I have no patience and I was hungry. I'm sorry. It's delicious, you guys. Mmm. So good. All right, so leave me a casserole emoji or a turkey emoji, Thanksgiving emoji, an emoji to you. <laughs> so delicious. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to give away the spurtles today. I'm not going to wait for 2,000 people. I want to give them away now because I have a light happy heart because of you guys stop eating Anita in the comments below pick an emoji that looks the most like a spurtle leave it next to your name and you'll be entered into the spurtle contest I will pick a winner on Thanksgiving Day thanks for hanging out with me my swells I love you guys and we'll pray that everything stays cool and calm and collected around here catch you later